What's up and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer. Once again, I'm your host, Zach, joined by our actual voice actor, Wes. hey -o. And of course, our actual lawyer, Pridge. I'll come up with a fun, a fun way to start every stream. I'm going to read you guys an essay question from the Ohio 2019 July bar exam. Oh, and instill oh, chat, and until yeah. chat can combine their powers to give me a satisfactory answer, I will refuse to start the show. That is amazing. Oh, that, Holy yeah. shit. You've, that's, that's the funnest thing we've ever done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. One afternoon in suburban Anytown, Ohio... Mom was working in her home office when she saw on the screen of her home security camera that a person took from her front porch a small package that was just delivered. Believing the person was a thief, and this character is now named Thief, hmm. had taken the book set that mom ordered for her 10-year-old daughter, daughter <laughs> okay. mom grabbed a large stapler from her desk and ran outside to stop Thief and retrieve what the package. What a weapon choice. <laughs> Mom ran up. No, th these these are great because listen how this escalates. Okay. Mom ran up behind Thief and threw the stapler at him, what? hitting him in the head and knocking him to the ground. Mom. Mom. Mom retrieved the package. Then she ran back into the house and called the police. After Mom got off the phone, she stood near her front door to wait inside for the police. Mom. The Mom then saw through the window that daughter had just gotten off the school bus and was walking towards the house. Oh, no. Fearing for the safety of daughter because Thief was still outside no. lying on the ground, mom grabbed her pistol and went outside to escort daughter into the what? house. Seeing mom approach with her gun pointed at him, Thief grabbed daughter and threatened to take her in his car if mom did not let him flee the scene. What the oh fuck? My God. Mom continued pointing the gun at Thief and told him to take his hands off daughter or she would Where shoot him. Where is the question? Oh, it's at the end. It's at the end. <laughs> Thief, Thief simply laughed and continued pulling daughter towards his it car and threatening, and threatening to take her with him if mom did not put down the gun and let him leave. Afraid that Thief would follow through on the, his threat, mom aimed the gun and shot Thief in the leg. Thief fell to the ground and daughter was able to run into the house. Mom's a fucking crack shot. Last paragraph. Mom then stood over injured Thief, pointing the gun directly at his head. Jesus. As as Thief was calling Mom crazy and pleading for his life, Mom laughed and repeatedly threatened to shoot him in the head. Jesus fuck! When, when the police arrived approximately 20 minutes later, they took Thief into custody. Although Thief was charged criminally, he filed a civil tort action against Mom in an Ohio court. And the actual question is, what intentional torts did Mom arguably commit against Thief, and what defenses, if any, might Mom reasonably assert against each alleged tort? <laughs> so, like, and I believe, we, and, God. and on the bar exam, you're given six of these essays and three hours to do them. So you're basically meant to spend thirty hour, thirty minutes on each essay. I was Jeez. gonna say it probably takes it probably takes you an hour to read all of the questions. Yes, that, I mean, that that's the, that, that that's what makes the bar exam so hard is you I, have to keep yourself on a very tight time clock. I thought the final question was gonna be like. And what time does the train leaving from Cleveland hit the train coming from Cincinnati? Like, <laughs> Jesus God. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great question because they all start with like a slightly believable scenario, then just escalate it to insanity, just to obviously, <laughs> just to obviously quiz you on as many different facts of law as possible. Yeah, what the fuck? Dan in the chat says, and as we all know, the Phoenix Wright games famously take place in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just the facts is shakes my head now Zach has to do the intro twice oh no that's definitely staying in the video I'm sorry if you watch this on YouTube I can't cut this that's too good I'll obviously shorten it but uh, you know wow let's get back into the game oh I was like wait why the fuck is she in jail I forgot <laughs> Oh, well, well, I forgot too. Nick, <laughs> sorry, I assaulted somebody with a stapler. <laughs> well, Maya, did you... did you murder your sister again? Did you have re they? <coughs> did you have reasonable force? <laughs> they threatened to steal my magatama. <laughs> That's the second game. Is that the second game? Uh, it is. Okay. Oh, sorry, hey. I didn't say it. <laughs> 
Maya? Maya? Hey, Vic, it's you! It is! I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey, why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I mean, you're not a lawyer at all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was you're, gonna say? you're not half the woman your sister was, and you're not a <laughs> third of the lawyer she was either. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. <sighs> Just behave from now on, okay? That's a weird way of wording that. <laughs> oh, okay. Mind your manners. <laughs> Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Would she be questioned? No. <laughs> like she's held in contempt of court. Would they be like, what were you doing on the night of the court case? Yeah, there's not really much to question her on besides why. <laughs> why did you disrupt the court proceedings? Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said, Seeing as this is your first offense, we'll let you go after questioning. Well, you... I guess technically you were acquitted of that, but still. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Her record has been expunged from the, uh, from the murder charge. <laughs> oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, how much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. But picture? didn't he say that he just let her go? So then why do we need to bail her out? Also, this is the worst joke I've maybe ever read in this game. <laughs> why do I picture giant bales of money every time I hear the word bail? Oh, man. <sighs> Me too, Phoenix. Fucking get your shit together, localization <laughs> team. Come on, this joke was trash. <laughs> Any luck with Mia again? <laughs> hey, I'm reminding you of the reason why you're so upset. <laughs> None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. You'll stop being useless eventually. <laughs> Thankfully. I think I probably shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm. She sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. Phoenix, like, dog, fucking read the room. God. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Well, you will eventually. I mean, here's the thing. You won't, you don't see her. That's true. That's true. So, I, I don't know how, I don't know what she means by that. <laughs> Goodbye. They like talking to like Gumshoe at the Criminal Affairs Department. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Possible next step. I don't really know if we should go right back to snooping around the lake just yet. Mm. Yeah, let's talk to Dicky Gum. Detective Gumshoe's Aww. not here. Oh, damn it. Gumshoe's oh, up the okay. scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's actually working? He's alive, Wire, that one. <laughs> Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. <laughs> there are fewer than there were yesterday, but the cops are still all around in the park. I wonder if Detect <laughs> I wonder if Detective Gumshoe's here today. Oh right, I forgot. I almost I almost went back to the trailer again. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix just finds himself in a studio <laughs> to trailer. How oh, the uh, hell did I get here? Oh, hey, Penny, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably all. Hey, guys, remember we, remember we tried to accuse Larry of, uh, <laughs> of, being, of killing him? I, I can't believe murder. they made that an option in the, <laughs> in the courtroom. <laughs> Just to immediately penalize us for thinking it. Yeah, and they and they fucking penalized us for thought crimes. This is this takes place in 1984. 
Uh, probably off paying through, probably off paying through the nose on a date with a lovely Keonce. Fucking got him. Uh, all right, let's go talk shit a lot of. Hey, you find Gordy yet? <laughs> oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today, it, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Okay. Well, you did save Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? I mean, you could say I did a good job. <laughs> you could just say thank you. Yeah, uh, thanks. Detective Gumshoe, any idea what strategy Von Karma's planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Again, we... You knew this! All right. He said something about, he said something about that in the trial today. There were two witnesses. This flashback was not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! That's it! There were two witnesses. I do remember you saying that. <laughs> See, I said that. <laughs> Wait, was... no. Ah! If you, if you cut away from me, I disappear forever! No! <laughs> I was wondering who the other, who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? You know, the other witness. Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Certainly are. I, I, I am the defense attorney on this case. I, I absolutely am allowed to know who the other witness is. Yeah, it feels fucking wild that the police can actively not tell you who the other Surprise witness is. Surprise witnesses? <laughs> not a thing. Yeah. Uh, completely, completely fabricated for, for drama. <clears throat> Grass gods let's the hope they're the drama. Let's just hope they're as they're just as reliable as as a lot of heart. <clears throat> Certain they will be. <laughs> the chat is also spamming. There were two witnesses right now. <laughs> <laughs> y'all remember y'all remember the meme with the boy talking to the other boy and he's got two hot dogs and he says, Your mom lets you have two hot dogs? That was a great I meme. Do. Yes, I do know which one you're talking <laughs> no. about. No, well, look it up. Can, can someone <laughs> in the chat post that meme for me? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put what's his Von Karma's face over that boy. Yeah, you, you have my commitment. It's, go, it's, it's getting in the video. <clears throat> it's going in the YouTube. <laughs> oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? <laughs> but there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. He hates crime. <laughs> and him becoming a lawyer. And him being scared of earthquakes. <laughs> and him having to think for Oh, shit, I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> it all started with that incident. The incident. Oh, what, was there an earthquake <laughs> happening during DL6? Damn the it. DL6 incident? Do you <laughs> know about the incident, pal? <laughs> yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. Was his dad killed during an earthquake or something? Is that is that the next thing we're going to learn? Maybe. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'll explain it. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Huh? She's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they'd had their report written up. Bail, are you Man. charging for, like, a 17-year-old girl disrupting court? <laughs> Jesus, just let her go. Yeah, that's, it seems a bit much. Charging bail for this? Is this court that <laughs> desperate for money? I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, pal. It was kind of hot. I shed a tear at you. Gumshoe, what fucking fetish do you have? <laughs> the worst kind. 
Edgeworth. He was so moved I saw his lip trembling. Did you take a picture? <laughs> really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He's as cold as ice. <laughs> he was really grateful for what she did, you know. He kept saying, man, what a stupid girl. I really wish she hadn't have done that. And you know that means he was really, really happy that she did it. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. All right, pal. Uh, don't forget to pick her up, okay? <laughs> Just fucking pick her up from school or something. <laughs> Call her an Uber. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I fucking hope I mean, you're charging him something for the... I, I don't know. Give him, give him the friend discount. He has to give you a kiss. <laughs> hey, Nick. You finally came. I mean, it wasn't that long paperwork. ago. <laughs> I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? Kill your brother. <laughs> like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Mm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Well, if we just turn around, he's in the cell behind me. Uh... <laughs> Let's bust him out of here, Nick. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do I do? What do you think we should do? <laughs> We're kind of lacking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. Oh, yes, the true killer. Yeah, yeah. I'll hold him out there that Gordy killed him. So I think that's our best edit. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the the edit I did for for that. Uh, I I did see Gordy with the sideways. Yeah, that's, uh, that made me laugh. Sideways gun. That was funny. Going going for the kill shot. <laughs> I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the parks is the parks as good a bet as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Let's stop for a break. Now, why is there... Okay, well, we'll ask her. Have you noticed anything lately? <laughs> yeah. The big question, really, Phoenix. They don't really dust this place. <laughs> it's kind of gross in here. You I, know, I, 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 think the cop, I think the cop behind me is actually just a mannequin. Because <laughs> I've never seen him move. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure no one in the police department's real. <laughs> You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. That's, that's how you know this game was made in Japan. <laughs> I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? Oh yeah, they keep a big case in one of the rooms. <laughs> well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. <laughs> I was you really hoping expect, one of the you new things to, to be. like solve the entire case while she was sitting in a detention center. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's expecting her to summon her dead sister, which he's brought up several times now, and been like, "Oh, you can't do it. Wow, you're worthless to me now." <laughs> so uh, here we are at Gord Lake. Man, Mia really liked this place. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lada! Remember when I made fucking you look like an idiot yesterday? <laughs> y'all really did it today. What, what, what do we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. Well, don't hurt yourself, Lada. 
See, I got a big old mirror and I looked in it. <laughs> I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. A lot of... <clears throat> so, you see, I, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up? I just want to let you know I almost said Metal Gear there. <laughs> what did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. We noticed. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Lana, <laughs> thanks, th thanks for that one, Lana. Uh, actually, you should be you held in contempt of court. That. <laughs> Even though I didn't really see anything. Yeah. Why'd you why'd you lie and say a man you saw a man kill another guy? <laughs> thanks for almost getting my boyfriend in convicted of murder. <laughs> I kind of convinced myself I had though. I'm sorry. I know I caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague th little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I hate you, Lada. <laughs> It'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. <laughs> How about right now? <laughs> <laughs> right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? Why are we even talking hypothetical murders in the future? <sighs> Fucking just don't steal somebody's Amazon package, Maya. Or Lana. Uh, really quick. Uh, Punchman says, I wish there were more emotes to use in my subscription. If I made some funny ones, would y'all, as Lana be say, be open to adding them? I mean, if you have some ideas, yeah, we're absolutely open to... to th we, we should do something for uh, Ace Attorney because this definitely is our most popular <laughs> streaming series. <laughs> Uh, what does she have to make up for? We broke her fucking camera. Did we break her camera? No, we just used some film. <laughs> yeah. You uh, we buy did, more of that. We did waste the film. Yes, that is, that is, uh, kind of fucked up. Gordy. What about Gordy? Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> Gordy. Uh, right? Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stoking the flames of Gordy Fever. Oh no, they got Gordy Fever. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance. It's not Gordy Fever. But not for me. <laughs> uh, really quick, we got two new subs, Saitos and Cronite. Cronite. Uh, uh, amazing. I believe that means we're at 32 subs. So, uh, literally three. Again, I did not think this we would get this this many this quickly. Thank you all so freaking much. I'll get my exclusive photos and rock it to start it. Now, do fucking photographers ever get that famous, really? I, I mean, mean Zach, come on. I could name five photographers right now. Go. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe if you get J. Jonah Jameson pictures of Spider-Man, you will. <laughs> <laughs> get me pictures of Gordy. <laughs> For some reason, that freaky fish only stands still for you. <laughs> That's really good. All right, Lada, you go, girl. It's weird to hear that coming out of Maya. <laughs> uh, I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. I wish you could be a fucking spirit medium. <laughs> Finish your spirit medium training first. You and Phoenix, you're starting to think like the character. Uh, there we, you know, it's how, I, it's how I do it. You're becoming Phoenix. <laughs> Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see... Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me saying nothing about it. W what information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. You you can't make it up to us by then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Uh, okay, Phoenix, yeah, we are on the same wavelength. <laughs> right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. 
<laughs> what? Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh. Hey. I see you thinking, my, how unsophisticated these southern folks are. No, I'm just thinking, you suck, Lana. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. Than you. I'm just the exception, okay? <sighs> this line of jokes is not working for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'll it be? We gonna deal or not? What do you want? What do we do, Nick? D deal or no, or deal. no deal? Fucking Howie Mandel <laughs> comes out. Well, <laughs> Nick, what do you think? Do you take Lotta's deal <laughs> or do you walk away? Uh, can I call the banker? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was the who wants to be a millionaire, but. Yeah, no, I, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. <clears throat> we don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? Completely off your rocker? Are you? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. I hate that you know I'm poor. <laughs> but accurate. I just look at it. <laughs> you probably You've got 99% written all over you. <laughs> huh? The only fair exchange for information is information. Equivalent exchange. <laughs> Listen good. What I need from you is information about Gordy. Bitch, I'm a fucking lawyer! What the hell do you think I know? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. G Gordy? But, but Gordy doesn't... I mean... Gordy might not exist, huh? Yeah. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Bring me pictures of Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> it really is that. Bring me pictures of Gordy, man. Uh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Uh, okay. Right. See y'all later. So last case, we had to find trading cards. Now we have to find proof of a mythical creature. Yeah. yeah. Should be about the same level of difficult. Yeah, we're, we're, we're trading... Uh, what, are, what are they called? Uh, cryptids. Yes. We're trading cryptids now. Mm -hmm. I know a lot about okay, the Mothman. Man. Let's get hunting. Uh, hunting? You don't seriously mean... <laughs> Gordy, I sure do. <laughs> what about Edgeworth? Fuck Edgeworth. <laughs> you gotta get this motherfucker. <laughs> We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Do Don't it you for get her. it? <laughs> uh, okay. Do it for him. That's such a good jam. It's a really uh, good song. Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Go to Charlie. <laughs> well, hey there, Nick. <laughs> I heard you're looking for Gordy. Let's try the fucking Barney. Yeah. Well, uh, hey, Nick. Come on. They'll take you to the land of make-believe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the public beach is... Yeah, I need to go find something. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It's Gordy! <laughs> What's that? The, the Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya! Hi, Larry. <laughs> Cut off, look! Larry, what the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Keonce's idea. Was she like, you go, girlfriend? She was all, if she you like off your put this hand. gear, it would be like really cool. Dude, <clears throat> she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's real impressive she could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. <laughs> and that show's finished now, so she got them for free. 
Right. <laughs> By the way, anybody see my hand? <laughs> Just the facts in the chat says Keonse cut off his left hand, telling him, You go, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girlfriend. <laughs> Vincent Van Gogh cut off part of his ear. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Also, it looks like it looks like his T-shirt is staring at us. Yeah, I don't like oh, that. Yeah. It looks like there are creepy. eyeballs. Not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of this fashion, Larry. It's not a good look. Yo, Nick. What happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in court, all right. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, but or here on though. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. <laughs> Fuck my He acts like a little boy. Huh? <laughs> Larry does not find this funny at all. No. He's, he's like, like, oh, my, that's really fucked up. Don't, I... don't fucking make fun. That's, phobias are a real thing, Maya. Yeah, would I mean, would you like it if I talked about your dead sister in front of you right now? I mean, what the hell, Maya? Jeez. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only on this in the same class for a year. He transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Uh, yeah, it's uh, when, when you leave one school and go to the other, Maya. Metal Gear. <laughs> right, when the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry, what was that big thing? Or Wait, yeah, no. What was that big thing up there before? Huh? Oh, the big guy. I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it there yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, the, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, yeah Metal Gear. <laughs> it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. <laughs> that what? That's what... Uh, that's what I use to put air in the steel samurai. <laughs> Larry's sleepy now. <laughs> <laughs> that what I use to put air in the steel samurai. No, hate that. <laughs> it broke, Uwu. <laughs> no. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you'd inflated it by yourself. Did he enlarge it? A lot of air. Uh. Mm. But. Hey, y'all. Well, y'all find anything out about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out here at night time. Well, what the fuck? It is a little chilly. I. I think I have to sneeze. <laughs> Whoa, no you don't! No sneezing! Achoo! I told y'all no sneezing! See, I set the camera to respond to things a little softer than a bang. It trigger on one of Von Karma's <laughs> finger snaps now. <laughs> that is really funny. That's actually pretty good. The idea of him walking around and talking to people in public is very hilarious to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Yeah, that's not cool, Maya. Hey. Nick, pay the lady. What the fuck? Ed Edgeworth, pay the lady. <laughs> 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 okay, we're getting out of here. Let's, right, yeah, um, let's see if we can give him the... Edgeworth said he was here to see Gordy, apparently. Do you think Edgeworth knows anything? Ah, that's a good idea. That's the guy that's still in my dogs faster than I can cook him. <laughs> Do you think Gordy really exists? Nah, I think somebody probably saw something else that they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth's out. 
Why are you sweating so bad, Larry? Uh, you could also examine the big steel samurai as well. No, sure. Doesn't that steel samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. <laughs> I guess it's good yeah. advertising. Something about this steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? Or really? It looks pretty well made to me. Hmm. Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? <laughs> really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. What the fuck? These steel samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. <laughs> Uh, maybe Gumshoe's got something? Oh, I know. This is this is where we get one of the three treasures of the department, I think. <laughs> hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait. You didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. Why do you always assume that, Gumshoe? What do you mean, again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides, funny, that is. Because <laughs> I don't have any, if that wasn't clear enough. <sighs> How is the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. Oh, motive. And how and how there wasn't any. His motive? Revenge. Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. The incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert. Robert Lozier. <laughs> Ro <laughs> That was good. Robert Hammond. <laughs> They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. <laughs> I'm just imagining... <laughs> so giant, giant sign that says, Be your past. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Edgeworth. <laughs> Maya, what the fuck? Don't laugh at him. <laughs> Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? I mean, like, personally? Gordy? I mean, we're not on a first-name basis, but... <laughs> the monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> he did exactly what I thought he wow, did. Wow, incredible. Well, we're looking for him. Well, have you tried the bar? <laughs> I hear he has a drinking problem. Have you tried his cell? <laughs> well, huh? at least I can track him. <laughs> <laughs> Are you out of your minds? Yeah. You got time to go wild monster hunting? You know what do you mean? Sword and board? Are you uh more of the glaive? I was gonna say. Are you, are you hunting horn names? Technically, both these franchises are owned by Capcom. Yeah. Why is it? There... Long sword for life, Gumshoe. Long sword for life. Why isn't there a, a crossover? I feel like they've done a few crossovers with their other franchises. It would be very funny like, to see them. It, here, it would it would be perfect to just have a, a palico, palico that dresses costume. up as Maya. Yeah, yeah. boom. That would be perfect. pretty perfect, actually. Yeah. How about doing a little questioning for me then? <laughs> oh, Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. <laughs> Cronite says. Phoenix has to defend a Rathalos in court. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I swear I didn't breathe fire on that hunter. <laughs> I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lana. Nick, try telling him sooner next time. Shut up, my. The one who jumped in immediately said we're looking for Gordy. <laughs> uh, sorry? I'm not Sorry. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. I mean, you know this would be easier, Gumshoe, if you just told me. Yeah, Lada has secret information that we're trying to get. 
But we wouldn't have to do that if you just told us what these... Yeah. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. Just, just again, to clarify, this man is... His, his money comes from taxes. The, the small amount that they pay him <laughs> does come from your taxes. You should be mad about this. <clears throat> huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. A secret weapon? It's this gun. Really? <laughs> it's called a gun. You can take whichever one you like. <laughs> Part where Gumshoe just gives away police police <laughs> equipment to a civilian. Again, <laughs> your taxes are going to this. Okay, give us the goods. Oh, hold on now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. <laughs> Introducing secret weapon number one. Da -da -da -da. Missile. It's a, it's a nuclear warhead. <laughs> <laughs> Missile? He's a canine police dog. Still in training. Missile! Missile! Yeah, boy! Yes! Yeah, look at that! Look at that cute! What do we think? Is he a Shiba Inu? Yeah, it looks Most like a likely. Shiba Inu. Yeah. Uh, just, just, just want to clarify, the chat is spamming Shiba Inu dog emotes right now. Oh no, they're corgis. Oh, yeah. They're technically corgis that they're spamming, but still. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. You're telling me that Missile has a deep baritone. Oh, yeah. Mm. Here he is. Hey, he's cute. Look, Nick. Cute dog. And lo, I am Doggo. <laughs> A cute dog. Would you like to boop my snoot? Of course. And this will <laughs> help us how? Woof. <laughs> Next, secret weapon number two. Da, 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 da. A fishing pole. Okay, you're just fucking with us now, right, Gumshoe? <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is uh, my own personal pole. I don't. Listen, the, we don't need your personal on that pole. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Make sure Gumshoe. You firmly by the shaft. God damn it. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah, this is it right here. God damn it. No. <laughs> wow. How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. Ugh. Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please. I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. <laughs> Secret weapon number three, da, 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 a metal detector. Here. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right. How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know. It might have been in soda cans. Well, which will it be? Um... <laughs> I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. What do you think, Bridge? <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, a metal detector actually sounds like useful, I suppose. <laughs> but I obviously want to borrow a missile because he's adorable. Uh, oh yeah. The chat is very much wanting us to pick missile. I will and, say. And let's just let's just grab a police dog out of the precinct and just. Uh, you can come back at any time, Zach. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that just to be safe. Uh, we'll borrow missile. Dog was added to the court record. Can we borrow missile? Put dog slipped dog into your pocket. <laughs> sure thing, pal. Be good to him. Woof. He's so cute. Oh boy. 
Borrowed canine unit missile from Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> also, I love how he is in our court record now. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I also just like the idea that Gumshoe just like, here, take, take this dog. Yeah, you I can't just fucking walk out with a canine dog. Like, I know it's a specially trained police dog. Yeah, right. He's in training. He hasn't finished training yet. Uh, really quick, Aki Wolf Twenty Seven followed us. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go stand over here. You're, you're breathing a little loud, Gumshoe. Um, okay. Hey, Nick. Hmm. Missile's been acting strange lately. Oh no. Missile. Oh, right. The dog we just picked, that little creature of yours? Phoenix, yeah, what Phoenix? the fuck? Wow. Nick confirmed serial Fucking... killer doesn't like dogs. Seriously, wow. Jesus. Wow, the the whole every all the fandom now hates Phoenix, right? Yeah, fuck this character. I forgot He's the that worst. he sucks. <sighs> <Yep>. <laughs> Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy. Good boy. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? That looks like he's trying he's like someone was like, "Missile, give us a smile." Oh my god. But those teeth also look like they belong on Pennywise the Clown. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> uh, Punch Run says hashtag Phoenix is over party. <laughs> hashtag cancel Phoenix. Honestly, in my hierarchy of best characters, Phoenix Wright just went below Salmonella. Oh, that's impossible for me <laughs> because <laughs> Sal Salmonella is the floor on upon which all other characters are ranked. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's wrong, Missile? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> missile, missile. And that was the day Larry Butts was mauled. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh, stop that thing! You cannibal! It's eating my samurai dogs. Oh, I was like, how is it a cannibal if it's attacking you? <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> My samurai dogs. Wow. He ate every single one. This is not good for this dog. I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry? Sorry? Don't pay my bills, Nick. <laughs> it's uh, it's going to I have it's going to have to this time. Well, Edgeworth pays your bills. Yep. Yeah. Edgeworth pay the man. <laughs> what happens if we just present Gore missile? Present missile. Look, we found Gordy. Hey, Lada. <laughs> we found Gordy. <laughs> oh, cute. He yours? He's a canine police dog. His name's Missile. Huh. Canines are the ones they use for to sniff for things, right? I mean, canines are just the abbreviation of the word canine, which just refers to dogs. Yeah. Lana, I know, <laughs> I know you're written stupid, but I don't think you're that stupid. I wonder what Gordy smells like. Okay. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> All right. Somebody said examine the lake. No, I have an idea. Present the gun to Lada and say, if you don't give us the information, I will shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's really good. <laughs> that chat saying, uh, just just sniff Lada. She smells hey, like Lada. a fish. Gordy probably right. also smells like a fish. <laughs> hey, Lada, this, uh, his gun's already killed one person. Uh, how about you give us the information or... Uh, and I don't like it too. <laughs> You said you were going to see another murder. All right. Go Actually, back to the bow rental and then... <laughs> go back and get the actual useful item? Right. <laughs> yep. I'd have to say I know exactly squat about that. It's painfully easy to know when someone doesn't... When something doesn't catch Lotta's interest. Just like the truth yesterday. 
Hey, <laughs> got him. Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, sure, pal. Also, missile ate like a like a <laughs> bunch of hot dogs, so uh, oops. But <laughs> oh, that great missile. dog. What happened to you, boy? <laughs> I I have a tummy ache, Daddy. <laughs> no. Well, take your pick. Which will it be? We're, we're gonna take the metal detector. I'm sorry, Chad. <clears throat> Can we borrow the metal detector? Sure thing, pal. I'm not sure what we're gonna find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. <laughs> the, chat says, kind of... the chat says borrow missile again. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, do we? Oh no, he's gonna take missile. Wait, did he take missile? Go to the court record. Oh, okay. It's okay, he did. It was still there, and I was like, huh. Uh, courtly entrance. Listen, chat. We would have taken the fishing pole if it didn't take Zach two hours to get from one place to the other. In this <laughs> Listen, you're not wrong. <laughs> Uh, wait, do I, do I have to use boat, it? Boat, boat rental. No, go to the boat oh, rental okay. shop. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, the, the, the metal detector is also a baritone? Yeah. <laughs> Nick! It's beeping! The metal detector's found something! Sure is loud enough about it. Hey, Whatever it is. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, metal detector chan. Uh, whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. <laughs> Why do I have to check it out? Eh. <laughs> Nick? Look. Huh? An air tank? Huh. The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this area. Yeah, we can see it. It's the fucking flags, Phoenix. It looks like a string of flags. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. It's heavy. Maya, why don't you put this in your pockets? What? Of dubious value. Take of dubious value. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what? Right. I think this air tank was the murderer. <laughs> Let's go. Chill out with Larry. Uh, Let's go chill with it, yeah, Larry. <clears throat> what? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. I mean, both questions sort of ask the same thing. Yeah, they really do. Just pick the first one. Oh, well, I picked Not... the second one. <laughs> is, it, is it seen it before? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look at his face twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? Isn't that just, it's just like the strings. Why is the cornered music playing? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. Uh, <laughs> I must hate, be a coincidence. I hate when they give him the little rosy cheek things. Why is this so <laughs> serious right now? There's strings of flags everywhere these days. Larry, you're going to jail for a long time. <laughs> like elementary schools and used car dealerships. <laughs> Look, why would I need a tank anyway? <laughs> Play something like the giant steel samurai behind you, you utter dipshit? You used this to inflate that, didn't you? I inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Yeah. <laughs> The truth will set you free, Larry. 
<laughs> now, why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right. Right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always use was on the fritz. So I, I tried using the tank to inflate it, just once. And, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. <laughs> okay, As that's, I that's suspected. all. I, right, that's all. That's all I wanted to talk about. Press harder. <laughs> it didn't go so well? Larry, did you kill a man? <laughs> it was uh, you the whole time. I should have convicted <laughs> you yesterday. I should have done it. Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? Come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I don't really want to talk about it. Don't make me bring Missile back here. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the steel samurai up with that. And then... Blam! The valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. It took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? Damn it. <laughs> it sure scared me out of my gore, that's for sure. <laughs> Fuck you, Larry. Um... So, the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th. Uh, yeah, that's the same day as the newspaper article about Gordy. A week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Kyonsei gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? The night of the murder. Just the night before last. Oh, God. Ugh. It flew way out there. Took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Larry, what the actual fuck? Larry, I actually hate you. <laughs> How are we friends? Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. Larry, did you do the murder? But you see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? Nah. I did see Edgeworth walking around, though. That's too bad. It's not... No, it's you. No, it is me. It's not all bad. We solved one mystery, at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. I like Go that they're, like, intentionally her. vague to, like, the player in case you didn't make the connection. Uh -huh. right? You've solved my Lotta puzzle. You've solved my Gordy puzzle. Um, no. uh, you know, I was wondering. Yeah? What if you get a picture of Gordy, and it turns out like this enlargement did? We can't get rid of the enlargement, folks. Nope. Y'all crazy! A blurry picture like this doesn't make a hit story. Also doesn't make good evidence, but hey, here we are. I need a picture that screams, I am Gordy, hear me roar! I can't turn something like this into the paper. What kind of fool do y'all think I am? The kind of fool that would turn a blurry picture in his evidence in a murder trial? Fucking got it, oh my god! Oh! Not to mention claiming she saw something she didn't see. Damn. Just get roasted. Just get dunked. Literally. What happened? I learned something in today's <sighs> pal, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. Didn't we do this already? 
That's why I decided yes. not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa. Oh. Didn't you say you had information about the case? You tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordon. Listen, Lana, I'm trying to tell you the dirt, but your dialogue options are confusing. Hmm. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I've got the info y'all need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? <sighs> Gordy doesn't exist. Well, yeah, Gordy doesn't exist. I mean, I guess we found him. Yeah. We want to be, be. I feel like she's going to yell at us when we say Gordy doesn't exist. Yeah, let's just say we found him and be like, here, it's a freaking compressed air tank with flags on it. Huh? Gordy? Oh, we found him already. What? I haven't seen any monsters yet. Y'all for real? Gordy really exists? Wait. I need proof. You got a photo? No, I'm not a photographer like you, Vlad. Also, if I had a photo and it's going to make me famous, I'm not fucking showing it to you. I'm taking it to the <laughs> press. Drew uh, we'll Edgeworth, I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> of course I have proof. No fair, Nick. It was when I went to the bathroom, wasn't it? God, you're so stupid, Maya. That's when you made contact with Gordy. Enough jabbering already. Let's see your proof. I love the take that. Larry's air tank? What are y'all doing with an air tank? This is Gordy. <laughs> um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. <laughs> <laughs> There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot, who just happens to be a friend of mine, <laughs> tried to fill it. <laughs> Very good. He used this Hi, air Phoenix, tank. you're rising up again. <laughs> he used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? Look at this fucking po picture they got here. That's good. What a graceful dive into the water from the field of <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. There we go. Uh, name is Zach. <laughs> <laughs> the tank, along with the still, de still deflated samurai, fell into the lake at the same time. A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So you're saying that Gordy... Doesn't exist, Maya. <laughs> Is really the steel samurai? God, I fucking hate you. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm going to feel bad about Lada, aren't I? I'm not. Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dreams. Would you rather have stayed here? Would you rather have stayed here for days on end searching for something that doesn't exist? Hey, listen, this is some near automata shit going on. No, it most certainly is not. It's, would you rather live in the blissful ignorance of believing in Gordy's and you have something to strive for, or would you rather know the truth and be depressed? We are become as gods. Uh, <laughs> become as gods. Become I'm as gods. sorry, Lada. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lotta. Oh, also, you're not allowed to camp here, so you're being arrested, yeah. too, for, uh, <laughs> for staying in a no-camping ah, mode. Sorry, Lotta. Oh, awkward. <laughs> and they're going to bring perjury charges against you for what for lying in court yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. <laughs> Just the fact says, shakes my head, bridge with the no camping stuff. This is why people hate lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn fucking narc. Goddamn. <laughs> I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. <laughs> 
Gee, I wonder if we go there now, if they'll show up. Boat rental? I've never heard of that. <laughs> There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lada. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah. The night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know. Interesting. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just a like. I figured it wouldn't be much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. I think you're hiding, Lana. <sighs> well, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. This tape-recorded confession of the murderer <laughs> admitting he did it, but... Yeah, I didn't think it would probably help not all. any. There's probably no help to you, but <laughs> I'll just throw it in the lake. Here, Lada, I got the uh, the fishing pole from Gumshoe. Why don't you fucking take this? <laughs> Bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Good luck finding Nemo's son. <laughs> Sorry, good, luck finding, Nemo's good luck finding Nemo. That's that's the fan movie. Finding finding. Finding Mimo. Not Mimo. <laughs> Poor Lotta. Not really. Not really. <laughs> it's all Larry's fault. What the fuck, Phoenix? Okay, technically, I'll Not give you that Mimo. one, Phoenix. It is all Larry's fault. <laughs> the legend still lives on, and the legend continues. <laughs> the legend? Yeah. The Legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> when something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Certain fiance does that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Larry's into that. Oh boy, okay, boat rental, come on. <laughs>